I want to kind of get you to think a bit outside the box for a moment because there's this thing that some people have heard about. It's called spay casting. And spay casting, to those who've heard of it, to a small percentage of those who've heard of it, uh, spay casting is a technique of casting a fly with a very long rod, big two-hand rod, 15 foot long, 14 foot long, nine and 10 weights. Sure, it evolved that way back in the 1860s in Scotland and the big rods for salmon. But spay casting is far more than that. And, and if you can have a moment to think of spay casting as a way of casting a fly with a one-handed rod, with obstructions behind you, for changing direction, there's an awful lot of benefits that a spay cast has to you as a fly caster. And so what we're going to be showing you very briefly, we'll do a few spay casts just to show you how you as a one-handed fly caster can benefit from spay casting. Two ways. One, obstructions behind you. Two, fast directional changes. And this lake is perfect to show you. So one of the advantages of the spay cast in situations like this, particularly lake fishing, if your line's out here and you spot a fish cruising out in front of you, so a spay cast like the snake roll, change your direction from down the shore to straight out in the middle of the lake, fast as that. Much quicker, less effort than a big old overhead cast, couple of false casts. Going in the opposite direction, there's a cast called a single spay, and this is a great cast to go from out in the middle of the lake here, bing, bang, straight down here to another fish. So those whole spay cast families are a great way of using your fly rod to change direction with speed.